Hi, welcome to the first episode of An Ultimate Day. class trying to learn for those who don't know there's a discipline could you physics it's a dope degree the good that's got me sitting writing lyrics studies have the waves and properties is what we're doing when the earthquake comes around we know about it doing is doing swag so you know it's upper grabs for everybody sounds complicated but it's simple let me spell it for you for the gravity that always tries to keep us grounded for the earth where the geo principle is founded for the ores you use the phones and stuff for you to function a type of wave occurs that ass waves in conjunction for the hard part is people using cars Do the cares go to one of the living Mars This yes in Spanish Spells geophysics Geophysics Come take a ride on the seismic wave, baby has become reality. In an ultimate day, I get to hang out with ultimate frisbee athletes and learn about who they are on and off the field. We'll see what drives them, what struggles they may face, what they like to eat, where they sleep, what color underwear they like to wear. I want to share with you an awesome experience that I had with Becca, one of the best ultimate players that I know. she um, injured from? She had a hoof abscess. It just kind of like... Yeah. Yeah. Hi, handsome. <laughs> oh. Maybe those are the pets. This is Lita. Super sweet. Are you going to give me some treats? To give me some treats. <laughs> they, they, they really like like um, oatmeal -y stuff. And they really like peppermint candies. Peppermint? That's yeah. surprising. Look at that. We have one thing in common. <laughs> So you'll ride Rosie, and I'll ride John, and we'll go Rosie, we'll ride you John on here or wherever you're comfortable, and you slow yourself up. I'll take you on one of my favorite trails. All right, so we have a question from Mackenzie from India. How have you, as a female ultimate player, overcome so much adversity in a male-dominated sport? I started playing open because I went to colleges that didn't have a lot of players and we had like very small teams and I was like the only girl, maybe one of two. So I was just always playing with men. I wasn't good at first. Now, I'm, I feel like I'm nervous to talk about it because I feel like the way that I feel about being a female player and there being like this discrepancy or this struggle in the ultimate community, I just don't feel that. Like I love playing with men, which is why I choose to play mix. Going through ultimate, watching men play is just very, to me, inspiring. Mm -hmm. I guess more to address her question in particular, like it did take a while to get recognition and respect. Oh, 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 oh. That was really bad. <laughs> yes, so I do feel like it took a lot of time and effort to get recognized by guys. 
but I just always found it to be more motivating. I need to be better, then I'm gonna get better. Regardless of gender, there are some people who are supportive and wanna help, and there are some people who just aren't. I don't know, I don't get into like political-ish issues. Yeah. When I did those tryouts, like I have never played with women of, those, of that caliber before, and honestly, I would play with them in a freaking heartbeat yeah. to play women. You know, because playing against them was like, I got wrecked. That's what you need to get better. How do you exactly. get better if you don't have that competition, that push, that, I don't know. Something to get you out of your comfort zone. And... Yeah, totally. I have like no words of wisdom as far as working out goes. I'm fortunate enough to be someone who loves it. I still have days when I'm like, I don't want to go. But you go and you do it because it's like, those are the days that are going to help you like take that next step. That's discipline. So the next question is from TiVo. Oh, Tivo uh, from HBO. He asks, what have you done to increase your ultimate IQ? Sometimes it's just like the environment I happen to find myself in. Swing State started being like, hey, we want you to try handling a little bit. Sweet. For 10 years, I've been a cutter and like never seen the field from the other side. <laughs> and now when I cut, I know exactly what to do. I know exactly where to go. I, I understand the timing way better. Playing different positions is freaking awesome. Yeah. Also, what I started doing from the sideline is picking one specific person and watching them who like strike you as really great players who you'd like to emulate. Just watch them. Like freaking McKelvey played with us last year. I'm not seeing things like mechanics ball. exactly yeah. like you're not seeing the setup also asking teammates what could I have done better for you there be aware be mindful of your teammates try and figure out what they want when they have the disc and I was like oh man like there's so much more to it than just being fast and getting a D I know I'm not old but like I'm not you know 22 anymore and I can't just like rely always on athleticism and stuff like that because now when I play against 20 year olds I'm like oh you're really fast, you know? Like, so I have to be smarter. Yeah. There's a question from Dell. Oh, Dell. From Best Buy. What are you passionate about besides Ultimate? And how may that translate into the sport? You can think about that for a second. I don't know. I feel like it's such a broad topic. I'm definitely passionate about my friendships. I feel like what I find myself thinking a lot about, just on a daily basis, is how am I coming across? How can I communicate this thing that is important to me while also executing in a way that like isn't hurtful to anybody else? In Ultimate, it's pertinent because it is very easy to offend someone on the field. So if you have constructive criticism, something that you like from them or something like that, sometimes it's a touchy thing. There's always a good way to go about doing it. For me, like that's a personal goal of mine. This is how I want to be as a person and I want to be that way on the field as well. Being open in your communication and allowing yourself to be vulnerable with your friends or your teammates and stuff like that, I feel like that, for me, fosters trust. Yeah. If I trust my teammates, I will not get mad at them. And I feel like I trust that they're doing their best. It's good to hold each other accountable, of course. To get mad at each other, I think, is just so counterproductive. We, we need to be lifted up by our teammates. So he actually had a follow-up question. One thing you could change in the world, within reason. Uh, the music on the radio? And again, I'm not like super into politics, so I'm probably gonna sound like a nitwit. One thing that's frustrating to me about like the world at large is the climate crisis. Science is like, hey, this is a thing, and people are like, nah. I wish people would do their part for that. What a nitwit. Oh, like that. <laughs> that's another topic that would be cool to change about the world. I feel like America seems to be one of the worst places for it, but is like the stigma against like depression and other mental health issues. Dealing with that sort of thing and then you're on the field has been like really hard for me at times. Like to have teammates be like, have a better attitude. Like, why are you so pissed? It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with Ultimate. And if you're my friend, just be like, hey, wrong as someone who struggles with that stuff as well i know you do too and you and i have talked about it yeah that'd be cool if that stigma was lifted and people could be free to get the help that they needed without feeling like something's wrong with them yeah. or ashamed or yeah um this is 
from Buttman from Uranus. Mm -hmm. He says, Fantastic. do you want to play on a Jacksonville mix like, team? About playing this year, like I've told you the first time in 12 years that I'm like, I don't think I'm really going to play club. I'll play a couple tournaments um, with Ripe, which will be freaking awesome, and I'm pumped about that. That's the Masters team, right? Yes. But other than that, I just feel like my life isn't set up for it right now. And even though I love it so much, I really like my life like as a whole. Clearly, it's just not the time for me to be committing to right. the ultimate. That's understandable. Oh boy. So last question from Danny from Outer Space. How often do you practice for ultimate or did you, I guess, when you were pretty well, active? it depends on the team like whenever the team has practice but outside of frisbee there's always way more usually Dell and i would go pretty hard lifting three times a week that's pretty standard at least putting something in five days a week your body's got to be ready to go oh, <laughs> body's ready. and like when they start to get mad or when they start to get scared or you can feel these tiny little things and wow. you're like, whoa, like, because you're sitting on them, you know? They're so big and powerful, so it's like, there's also a major like respect thing going on for so me with said, horses. Anyway. They're so big, so, so much big. respect. <laughs> mad props.